Hey you guys, tomorrow is your first official workout, plyometric cardio circuit. I just wanted to give you some quick tips about your workout tomorrow, so hopefully you'll catch this before you um, get your workout in tomorrow. Um, it's a series of drills that we do with plyometric cardio circuit. You're going to have four moves, each one's 30 seconds followed by a 30 second water break. So you're going to do your four moves, 30 second break, four moves, 30 second break, you do it for a third time, and then he throws on a little power move on you toward the end. So just a couple tips about the, the moves that you're going to do tomorrow. Well, the first one you're going to do is a suicide drill. The biggest thing about a su suicide drill is how you place your feet when you actually get into the turn of the drill and what you do with your hips. So I'll show you really quick some tips to kind of help you get through that. What you want to do is you want to make sure you have plenty of room to move from side to side. When you start that drill, you're going to go to one side and then when you go down, you want to turn your feet in the direction that your body is going. Touch the ground, you come up. Suicide drill the other way, go down, come up. Now what you can do for support with your legs is put your, your hand on the leg that's bending in the front for support and then touch with the, um, the leg that's going toward the back. So you're gonna cover the ground, support, touch, cover the other way, support, touch. Really important to get those feet turned in the direction of your body so you don't torque out your knees. So you're gonna do suicide drills going right into power squats. Power squats is another one of those moves you wanna really move from the hips. So when you're power squatting, you want to have your body go down and up, down and up. What you don't want to do is lean into that to get your body to go down. Everything comes from the hips. So chest and head stay up. You come in, squat down, come up. That's your power squats. Mountain climbers are pretty easy. What you want to do is just really make sure you're using that core and your hands are going to stay high. So when your knees come up, what you want to do is keep those hands high as well. And elbows in nice and tight and then ski down he explains that one pretty well you want to keep your legs together feet together and you want to keep everything forward use your arms power from down up that's your ski down okay so you're gonna do that three times my suggestion the first time is really get that form down get comfortable with your body second time through you can speed it up a little bit and then if you want and you're feeling comfortable just power it out that third time Came out of breath. Um, so you're going to do that three times. And then at the end, he does a switch feet, which is basically a move like this. You're going like this with your feet. And what you want to do is you want to keep both of those heels down on the ground. So when you switch feet, you want to have a wide enough stance that both of those heels are down, and then your arms are going to go nice and long and reach down in front of you. Okay, so switch feet. So concentrate on those moves this go round, and then you're going to see plyometric cardio circuit again on Saturday. What we can do is we'll work on the second set of moves um, for Saturday. So really concentrate on that first round, those four moves, 30 seconds each. Keep that in mind as well. For, uh, watch the clock. Um, I guarantee you, you'll quit about five seconds before the round is up. So see if you can stick it out. Stick it all the way to the end. Give yourself a mental goal. You're going to do 10, take a break, do 10, take a break. Whatever you got to do to get through that so 30 seconds and move on to that next move. And then I guarantee you'll enjoy that water break at the end of that grouping. Any questions, of course, post them in our group. Good luck tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoy the workout. Any questions about any of the moves or um, anything in that day one workout, definitely let me know and I'll get them answered for you. Have a great workout.